Hello everyone, Exports here, and welcome to All-Star Battle R, but with 100 mods installed. Showcasing some of the most impressive, cursed, and degenerate mods the community has created since the game's release, which was about a year and a half ago now, giving the community plenty of time to add their own creations into the game, and improving the experience in various ways, and sometimes destroying the experience. As while it is nice to have a new JoJo game, All-Star Battle R is still essentially just a remaster, with a handful of tweaks and improvements, and that paired with its lack of rollback netcode, underwhelming DLC, and porting of Eyes of Heaven content has left a lot to be desired. Like there's still only been one JoJo Lean character in the game when the part has been finished for nearly two years now, yet we are getting DLC for Stroheim and Keicho Nijimura. But on the bright side, it's fueling the modding community to take it into their own hands to add characters from JoJo Lean, the JoJo Lands, and tons of other content from in and outside of JoJo. So I've spent the last two days installing some of the best and most cursed mods into All-Star Battle R. Every mod featured in this video and some extras will be linked down below in the description for you guys to check out and download for yourself, and I of course need to give a huge shout out to all of the amazing modders making content for this game, as right now there is over 600 mods currently available on Nexus Mods, which is where all of the mods shown in this video are from, with new mods being added almost every day, and of course they are only available on PC. Again, links to every mod used are in the description, where you can also find the individual creators. So let's open the game and see All-Star Battle R with 100 mods. All right, so jumping into the game now, even at the title screen, you will notice a few mods. If you saw Dio in the bottom right announcing the game's title, he was actually in his part one anime art style. And that's one of the mods, it's just called anime cut in, something like that. In various instances of the game and menu options, it changes characters to their anime art style. Also behind the game's title, you'll see the ink is black when it's usually white, and it does that for a few UI elements, but it, most importantly is when you play as Rohan, a lot of his attacks that involve ink flying all over the screen, that's all changed to black and it looks a lot better in my opinion. And also, the background characters, it actually includes the DLC characters in the roster back there. So you can see Risotto and Keicho, Stroheim, Final Pucci, and I think everyone up until this point that hasn't been released. I think the newest character that's coming out in a few days probably is going to be Alternate World Diego. I think that's been data mined and linked into Oblivion by at this point. Uh, so jumping into the game now, I'm just going to show off a few of the very small UI elements that just improve the game just a little bit that I like. Uh, so most notably of which on the right here, there's eight menu options and there's eight main jokes. Jojo's, or there was, until the Jojo Lands came out, and there's actually a mod that adds my boy Jodeo in the bottom here to the menu options, which is just awesome. And as we'll see later in the video, there are also Jojo Lands characters in this game finally, because God knows Bandai and CyberConnect is not going to add these Jojo Lian or Jojo Lands characters anytime soon, so it's up to the community, I guess, and their very talented uh, efforts of customizing this game. So the way we're going to do this video, because God knows I'm not going to be able to get online matches, this video would take four days to make if it had to be only online matches as well as a lot of the mods aren't compatible online. So just to make everything easier, we're just gonna be doing some player versus computer, which might be nostalgic for some of you guys that have been fans of the channel for a while, as a lot of my videos back in like 2016 and 2017 was just me hopping on Eyes of Heaven or All-Star Battle and playing the game, talking about the characters and just having a good time. So it definitely feels very nostalgic to be playing a game and talking to you guys and posting gameplay again. So uh, yeah, shout out to you guys that have been subscribed for so long that even remember the Eyes of Heaven live battles. So the way I think I'm gonna structure this video to showcase case as many mods as possible in a way that makes sense and flows is that we're going to be going by parts. So the first matchup will be part one and two, then we'll go into part three and four and so on. So I can show off all the main JoJo's and all the uh, effects that have been applied to them and a lot of the mods for the music and the stages and the characters and the models and all the cool stuff. So starting off, I'm going to be playing as Joseph and for my assist, you know I got to go Lisa Lisa because you guys know I have all the jiggle physics, all the thick physics, all the goth physics. I got you guys. They're all installed. Uh, so starting with Joseph and Lisa Lisa and opponent, let's go Jonathan and damn, who should Jonathan go with? Uh, let's do part one deal. Force them. Wait, no, wait, what, what am I doing here? I forgot to click on Lisa Lisa. Okay. Joseph for me, Lisa Lisa is my assist, Jonathan, and then we'll put him with part one Dio. They can finally get along and I'll force them to work together. So kicking things off at Dio's castle, at this first round, you'll already notice quite a few mods installed here, the most obvious of which is the anime art style for the characters. Joseph has this really cool cell shaded style applied to him that makes him look a lot like his anime character. There's a modder who's done it for a lot of the characters, mostly the main JoJo's, and it just really enhances the look of the characters in the game. As although I do like All-Star Battle's art style, how they tried to blend Araki's style and just that distinct JoJo manga style with 3D models, I think they did a pretty good job of that back in 2013. 13, but 
With the remaster, I felt like the character models were just a bit outdated, so this mod definitely moderns them up a bit and almost makes it feel like you're playing a new game with the way they look. So Joseph's is a little bit more drastic than Jonathan's. Jonathan's just changes his face and the shading a little bit, while Joseph's is almost like an entirely new model. So besides the characters, you can see the anime pop-ins going on as I trigger the stage hazard uh, with the Phantom Blood characters all popping up in the screen. I'll try to remember every single mod I have installed here. It might be difficult as I'm playing though. Um, one of them that you'll probably notice is that when the characters are attacking each other, a lot of the sound effects popping up, all of those are in unique colors and just, I, don't, I can't remember if they're just in black and white in the original version of the game. I've been playing with this mod for so long, but you'll see they're like reds and purples and oranges and they're all changed. Like right here where I'm punching Jonathan and, he, and he's blocking. And you'll also notice this mod where Joseph's Tommy gun is replaced with an AK-47 for some reason. That's just a fun mod I saw. I had to install it. I'll do a full combo here so you guys can see it again. Yeah, pull out that chopper. <laughs> uh, one of the other mods that you'll definitely notice so far, uh, maybe it's a little bit more so, maybe you haven't, is that there's actually anime music playing in the background. So instead of just the all-star battle soundtrack, it's actually, it replaces all the characters' themes with their anime themes, or at least all the characters that like are animated. Um, also, if you can see when Jonathan is charging his Hamon there, the game usually has Hamon be like this uh, blue purplish color, but now there's a mod that changes it to the more orange color like from the anime. So uh, quite, a, quite a bit of the mods that I have installed do change things to reflect the anime, like anime voice actors, anime sound effects, anime music, which just makes the game a lot more fun to play. Uh, you know, reliving those memories from the anime. Oh, I want to show you guys Lisa Lisa, of course. So I'll let Lisa Lisa come in here to end it. Okay, you didn't get the best look at her, so I'll let Jonathan kill me again so you guys can uh, see Lisa Lisa in all of her thick glory. Yeah, there she is in <laughs> the thick model. She also has like this goth outfit on as well. And guys, please do not comment about my fighting game abilities. I do not claim to be the best fighting game player. I only played All-Star Battle when it first came out. I probably have like 11 hours on this game. So I am definitely not the best. So yeah, I pretty much just use like the auto combos most of the time. I'm definitely not the best fighting game player. So don't judge me too hard. So I'm gonna try to pull off Joseph's great heat attack here in a second because one of the coolest mods that the community has done is that they've added it so when characters do their great heat attack, it plays their anime theme and it makes for some awesome moments like with Giordo and the main JoJo's. Uh, just those characters with very iconic themes. <laughs> So that is just awesome, seeing the characters' anime themes play when they're doing their heat attacks. Oh. So that's gonna do it for our part one showcase of Jonathan and Joseph. So for part three, I of course have to play as Dio Over Heaven, the most popular mod that puts Dio Over Heaven from Eyes of Heaven into All-Star Battle R, which is just one of Dio's coolest transformations in that whole storyline where he just becomes the most OP character in existence, able to take on Gold Experience Requiem, any time stop ability, and it is just a great design. So it also changes his character and his stand. Um, uh, and as well as some of the, with some of the sound effects mods we also have installed, it's just gonna, it just looks so sick in game. Uh, so for my companion, we gotta go final Poochie, let them live out their dream together, and I'll go Jotsuro and Iggy, why not? I'll see if the computer actually uses their assist because there is a pretty stupid mod applied to Iggy. And you know, because this is Dio over heaven, we gotta go to the bridge of Cairo. <laughs> So as I mentioned in the last matchup, some of the cell shaded characters look really damn good, and you can see it on uh, Jotaro right here. It's also applied to Star Platinum, and goddamn, just imagine the whole game with the characters in this art style. It would, it would seriously look like a new game and really more modernized. I know it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but. Uh, considering it's community made, I think they did a really good job of it. And of course, this is Dio's model from Eyes of Heaven, which is just one of the coolest stand designs in the history of JoJo. The all white and the gold being applied to Dio, it just fits the character so well. And if you notice, if I'm able, if one of us is actually able to get a heat attack off here, uh, another mod we have installed for this is that it replaces the game's time stop effect with the anime time stop effect, which is just a little bit more dramatic and sounds cooler in these instances. And I know with Jotaro and Dio in this game, they have a specific di uh, they have a specific mechanic where if you both stand rush at the same time, it puts you into like a button mash. So I'll try to pull that off if I can get the opportunity. There we go, there we go. So you spam square. This is so cool. One of the coolest things in the game. Oh! 
So moving into part four is probably where we're going to see some of the coolest and also cursed uh, mods within this entire video. So starting off, I'm going to be playing as Iceman Etika, a really awesome mod that gives tribute to, honestly, one of the greatest content creators of our generation, Etika, Iceman, and the, and the uh, mod has so much detail with it. It has his Joy-Con Boys logo on the front and the Etika logo on the back. So rest in peace. Etika is such an awesome and genuine guy. And I actually had the opportunity to meet him at a KatsuCon a few years ago, like uh, I think it was the year before his death. So. Uh, really tragic, really sad, and uh, I like how this mod celebrates. So just an amazing concert creator that was a fan of JoJo, and uh, it's just great to see him in this game. So as our assist, we're going to go with Joseph, and for her opponent, I'm almost scared to go down to Kosuku and Kira here because, yes, it's the mod that you guys have probably all seen. It's just, when you're talking about all-star battle modding, you have to talk about the John Arbuckle Garfield mod, so uh, of course that's going to be our opponent, and I guess it doesn't really matter for the assist. The computer doesn't tend to do the assist that much, so I guess we'll go... Yukako, I think I have a goth skin to apply to her, uh, her color B. And for the stage, we have to go to the town of Morio for one of the best, it's a very subtle mod, but it's one of the best mods we have installed today. <laughs> Just the contrast of Etika's amazingly detailed, perfect model with the eraser top and the tank top and everything. And then just a John Arbuckle, just the most cursed disaster I've ever seen of a mod. But this is Kira. It replaces Kira's characters, so it is badass hearing Kira's theme in the background here. And shout out to the modders for putting the detail into the UI design too, where you have John Arbuckle's name and Etika's name replacing the characters. And there's Goth Yukako for any of you guys interested. I know there's a few guys out there. Um, and the best mod I was talking about, if any of you guys notice and you look in the background, oh god. Okay, I have to let the lasagna hit me here and then I'll show you guys the mod. All right, sheer heart attack, replaced with lasagna, with Kira's theme and John Arbuckle. It doesn't get better than that. Okay, so I can finally say it. The mod in the background, if you notice, the Pepsi logo has been changed back to its original Pepsi, just like the, the part four manga. So shout out to the modder that made that. Definitely put it, doing, doing God's work out here. And again, if you guys are interested in any mod you see in this video, there's gonna be a big paste bin in the description that gives credit and uh, links every single mod that we use here. All right, if I'm able to land this, this should finish it. And the KO to Okiasu's theme. As Etika, just perfect. Perfect mod, 10 out of 10. So moving into part five, now we're gonna be playing as Giorno Giovanna, of course. And as you can tell by this UI mod, it also changes his in-game model to his PS2 version from the Geo Geo Golden Wind Vento Oreo PS2 game, which in my opinion is probably the best JoJo game ever made. It's so fun and not to brag, but there was a point in time where I held the world record for it because I grinded it for like three months straight and it was all I played. I probably have over like 200 hours in that PS2 game, but it's a good game, so go play it. And I'm definitely very nostalgic to this version of Giorno. And for the assist, I'm gonna be going as Bruno. There's a pretty funny mod I have installed for that. And enemy, we're going to be going Anasui, who isn't actually Anasui. And for Anasui's assist, we'll be doing Guido Mista, who is replaced with CJ from San Andreas. So keep an eye out for if uh, if they use their assist. <laughs> And to probably no one's surprise, Anasui is replaced with Abakio with this mod, which just works really well as there's something about Abakio's movements and Diver Down as a stand that just really fit Moody Blue. So this mod works perfectly. If they're able to update this mod and add um, Moody Blues is uh, some, there's CJ from San Andreas replacing Mista. That mod is sick, man. Uh, but if someone is able to replace Anasui's music as we're listening to Anasui's track here as it plays the music from the character you're fighting against, so if anyone can replace Anasu's music with Abakyo's and add Abakyo UI elements, this mod would just be absolutely perfect. And Abakyo's voice lines and Moody Blue's voice lines, oh, it'd just be so good. How about Bandai just takes it into their own hands and actually finally adds Abakyo into a JoJo fighting game? It's so insulting that he gets left out every time. I thought maybe now this would be the time because we had this whole season pass. I mean, besides JoJolian characters, Abakyo is high on my list for getting into this game, but for some reason they just, they don't want him in the game. And I'll let this hit me so we can hear the theme. 
So wouldn't it just be awesome if Abakio was actually in this game? I feel like he could have such a cool moveset because he's such like a brawler and a heavy hitter and his stand could have some like rewind effects or just some interesting mechanics. I think he would just be perfect for a fighting game, but no, Bandai Namco would rather have Keicho, Nijimura, and Stroheim in the game. God, I know the community is fed up with the DLC picks, but in my opinion, the DLC for this game has just been, oh, so horrendous. Especially if that last character of the pack is going to be Alternate World Diego. Like, ugh. I like Alternate World Diego, but it's all these characters that were playable in Eyes of Heaven. I'd rather have new experiences. Like, it was so exciting when Foo Fighters and Weather Report got added to this game. Although I'm being kind of a hypocrite, because Weather Report was also in Eyes of Heaven, but you know what I mean with Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters was one of those characters that everyone always wanted in a fighting game, and Abakio's right there with them. So please, Bandai, if we get a Season Pass 2 or something, uh, add Yotsuyu from Jojo Land, add Toru, and then get your asses on adding Abakio, and then the the, uh, the Jojo Lands characters, and then maybe All Star Battle R will actually be uh, a good game <laughs> once we have all those all those characters in it. So now that my meter is about filled up, I'm going to try and pull off a Gold Experience Requiem. Although Abakio hates my damn guts, so I doubt he'll even let me. Get away from me! Okay, there's no way I'm pulling this off. He's right in my face. Just give me like five seconds, Abakio. Just. Okay, no. He's just he's gonna end me. Well, all right. I guess that's canon in the series. Abakio just always wanting to beat the shit out of Juno. And for the second matchup of part five, I'm gonna be playing as Polnareff with special outfit A, I believe is the mod that changes it. We'll go Jotaro as our assist to simulate those days of, you know, in between parts three and five when Jotaro and Polnareff did their own little adventure hunting stand users. I would love to see a spinoff of that someday or like an anime original. That'd be so cool. And for our opponent, we'll go Diablo and uh, Goth Trish. So as you guys can see here, there's a few mods going on. The first of which is a reskin of Polnareff's special outfit A, which replaces him to his part five design. Although it would have been even better if they if they somehow managed to include his wheelchair too. And it looks like we're going to have two Silver Chariot Requiems going on at the same time here. I'm trying to think what this gimmick even does. I really... I think it just makes both of us do more damage or something. Because I see our character portraits in the top are glowing red. I'm not sure what the mechanic is. I'm not an all-star battle expert. So I'm not exactly sure what this mechanic does. But yeah, this mod pretty much just replaces Polnareff with his part 5 design. And his stand to Silver Chariot Requiem. Which honestly is one of my favorite designs that Rocky has ever made. It's really simple, but it's just such a menacing silhouette with such a cool design. And Diablo is, of course, in his cell shaded art style, which I think is one of the better cell. I mean, they're all great, but it's what, like, it applied to Diablo just looks even cooler because he's able to have this gradient effect applied to his hair, which just looks really clean. And also, I just, I almost forgot to mention this mod. If you notice when the round starts, it says open the game, which in the base game, it usually just says fight. So the open the game is ripped straight from, uh, Eyes of Heaven, actually, which is a, a fun little reference to the Darby fights from part three. I'm gonna try to pull off something here. He'll probably block it. You ever have that in a fighting game where as soon as you hit your super, you're like, yep, that's getting blocked. That's getting blocked and I'm getting King Crimsoned. Punched through the stomach here. Yeah, those are those moments I'm talking about where the anime sound effects and the soundtrack just so enhance the game so much. Because there was a few mods happening there. So obviously Dio or Diablo's design has changed, but also it had his King Crimson sound effects from the anime and his theme was was playing, which just makes a really cool moment. Hopefully I can finish Diablo off with a heat attack here. <laughs> And that's a perfect ending right there. Diablo being defeated by Silver Chariot Requiem, only to have the arrow also taken away from him by Silver Chariot Requiem. Oh my god! I forgot. I forgot to use... I might have mentioned it, but there is a really awesome Bruno mod that I have to show you guys right now. I'm not going to play the full match, but I just have to 
do a quick part five match real quick so I can show you this mod for Bruno. Okay, so I lied. We have to do three matchups for part five because of all the mods. Of course, Goth Trish with uh, Jiggle Physics is, of course, an amazing thing. But don't let that distract you from the fact that Bruno and Sticky Fingers both have Cat Ears, which is definitively this superior mod here. Just absolutely amazing. Cat Ears Bruno. It really doesn't get better than that, guys. If there's one mod I could recommend out of any mod in this entire showcase, essentially, it's Cat Ears Bruno. It's just perfect. So as much as I would love to do a fourth matchup for part five to show you guys even more mods, I think the only one I'm missing that will also be in the paste bin down below is the cell shaded design for Jorno, which gives him a similar design like we saw from Jotaro and Joseph uh, earlier in the in the showcase. So definitely check that out. So moving into part six now, um, this is one of these are some of the cleanest mods we're gonna see that that really just like make this look like almost an entirely different game. So for my assist, I'm going to go. Color B, Jotaro Part 4, which I believe is going to be his Stone Ocean design. And then for our opponent, we'll go Poochie. And who's a good assist for Poochie? I just realized that Stone Ocean doesn't have a single minor villain in their roster here. But then again, Jojolene only has one damn character. So uh, I guess we'll go. He can go with his brother. <laughs> So very obviously starting this matchup, you can see the characters in their anime art styles like amazing right here, especially look at that anime stone free and that anime white snake. But there's also a handful of mods that we're going to see in this matchup. If I call in Jotaro as my assist here, you can see him in his stone ocean design. I just have to rely on Poochie to try to actually hit me with a few things uh, as one of the one of the mods is that White Snake's voice is actually replaced with his anime voice, and there's a bunch of those where you can get like Risotto's anime voice, Poochie's anime voice, with all those files ripped and put into the game. So pretty much, you can have a matchup in this game where the characters are in their anime art style, they have their anime voices, there's anime music, and even stage mods that make the stages look more like the anime version as well. I know it is more like modern anime games like Ninja Storm, and some people might think that JoJo had its own unique style with All-Star Battle R, but damn, after seeing these mods, it, ju it just looks too good, man. <laughs> So with that heat attack right there, you were actually able to see some of the mods I was talking about with White Snake's voice and Jolene's uh, face being on her disc. So before this match ends, I'm just going to try to charge some meter into two so I can do Jolene's great heat attack with her theme, which is particularly special. I'm just trying to find a moment where Poochie's not going to be blocking. Okay, he's going for his... I, I got to hit him there, even though I know I'm going to lose the round because of it. Poochie's theme is just too good. I got to take the L to hear that. And really quickly, still on Stone Ocean, there's one more showcase I have to show you guys. We're just doing a one round battle real quick, which is just a very small voice line that's added to Weather's heat attack. You should kill yourself. Now! I told you guys, the low tier weather report mod, very subtle one, but definitely install that one in your game. It catches me off guard every single time. So moving into Steel Ball Run, I actually had to restart my game and install a mod for this one that overwrites the Overheaven Dio, ironically, overwriting over heaven. So I'm gonna be playing as part three Dio here, although the UI elements are still over heaven, but it's going to be sort of a simulation of alternate world Diego here. So it reskins part three Dio with Diego's character model and it gives you the stand the world. So it's pretty much as close as we can get to that unreleased character as of right now. Uh, and who goes well with Diego? I guess I can just also give myself Two Diegos? I, uh, why not? And for the opponent, we'll go 
Um, Johnny and Gyro, of course. Hmm. So as I mentioned earlier in the video with the anime music mod, for characters that haven't been animated yet, like Johnny, it actually adds fan soundtracks to their theme. So we have the Gwyn uh, Steel Ball Run soundtrack, which is so good it might as well be official. That is so sick. That happened right at the drop of Johnny's theme. Um, but it looks like when I stand barrage with the world, it gives me Star Platinum's fist for some reason. They're purple. Um, so the mods going on right now, we of course have Diego over Dio, but also the world here you see is not an All-Star Battles art style, it's actually an anime version of the world. As there's so many Dio mods out there, so similar to Jotaro's anime mod and all the ones we saw before, you can also play as a Dio version of the mod. And you know what, let, let, yeah, I'll let him hit me, why not, I gotta hear this. So damn cool, man. That track goes so hard. And I'm gonna try to hit a heat attack on Johnny here, but he's so small. I'm gonna wait till he's on slow dancer to ensure a hit here. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, seeing Diego with the road roller. Honestly, there was so much fan service with the world coming back in part seven. I'm surprised Iraqi didn't also have him throw a road roller at Johnny. So moving in to Joe Jolene, we of course have to play as Josuke, the one and only Joe Jolene character in the part. But thankfully, thanks to modders, we're gonna be playing as Valentine, which reskins Valentine, or we're gonna be fighting against Valentine, which reskins his character as Toru, who should actually be in the game. And for an assist for Josuke, I'm kind of blanking here. Let's just give him like, yeah, let's give him Bao, because Bao's also kind of like the odd one out in this game, not having like any other companion just being weird on the roster. I think even in the story mode, in the final mission, they make Josuke fight against Bao, because it's like, who the hell do we have to fight against this guy? So then we'll go Valentine, and you know what? Let's just, let's just go random. William Zapelli, why not? <laughs> So as you can see, like the previous main JoJo's we've been playing as, Josuke also has this really cool cell shaded anime style, which looks particularly good on him, even more so than the other ones. And we're fighting against Toru, who should be in this game anyways, but instead he has to take Valentine's skin. And his character model looks pretty awesome, looks very accurate to the manga, except he's flying into uh, American flags right now. <laughs> And Josuke gets his fan theme played. And I'll try to activate the stage hazard in this match because it is it is Joshu who also has a mod applied to him. Look at Toro with a gun. Jojolian would have been over a lot quicker if Toro just had a gun. Honestly, it's kind of insane seeing him like that. Um, because when this game first came out, like obviously Jojolian was only on like chapter 13 or something. So Joshu's model looks pretty awful. So there's actually a mod that makes his model look a little bit more accurate to his anime style. So I just need to get Toru's bitch ass over here. Stop shooting me with a gun tour. <laughs> Although the Wonder of You is a really powerful stand, if you really think about it, a gun is actually probably better. Oh, please, please, please. Yes, no, Tor, no. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted Toru to get hit by Joshu. That would have been like the perfect ending. And I really, it's so upsetting that Toru is not in this game and we have to go through mods to see him in here. And I know some people might make the excuse like, oh, Toru can't be in the game because Wonder of You is so OP or Wonder of You is just such a unique stand. Like the whole concept of it is if you get close to me or if you even touch me, you pretty much die instantly. But like, that's such not a good excuse. The whole point of this game is to make abilities that don't work in fighting games work in fighting games. Like that's what these JoJo fighters have always been about. But if Toru will actually activate his stand mode, you can also see that D4C is replaced with the Wonder View, one of the coolest stand designs in the entire series. And that's gonna be it for the JoJolian segment. Unfortunately, I would love to see more mods in the future, adding more of the rock humans like Yotsuyu or Jobin or Norisuke or just some of the great characters from JoJolian in this game if they're not added later on as DLC. So now that we've reached part eight, you guys might think that that's it. But thankfully, of course, thanks to modders, we have JoJo Land's characters in the game. Uh, I know Fugo replaces 
Jodeo, but I'm trying to remember if it's his base model. I think color B is Jodeo's version. And also one of the best mods I've seen from the community is Dragona Joestar added into this game. As you can see the left, you can see his character model is in it. And there's just, the UI is updated. It replaces Ermes' character and it replaces Kiss Stands to look like smooth operators. And it is just one of the sickest mods. So for, uh, you know what? I do kind of want to make Dragona and Jodeo fight each other here. So for assist, Who's a good, you know what, let's do Giorno, of course, they're equivalents, that's perfect. And then we'll do Dragona right there, special alpha A, and a good, who's a good matchup with Dragona? You know what, I forgot I had this installed, Saul Goodman right there in the bottom right, because, you know, the Jojo Lands is all about Breaking Bad, pretty much. Let's go ahead and have them fight with Saul Goodman. <laughs> So for this matchup, I tried to pick the most Hawaiian-esque looking uh, stage there was in the game. So I guess we're going to the Everglades because it has the palm trees in the background. And just look at the detail on Dragona's model. Honestly, probably the best model we'll see in this showcase. All the detail in the character design in the stand, it's just perfect. And as you can see Jodeo here, there's multiple Jodeo mods you can get. You can get one that replaces Giorno, but you can also get one that I'm using right now that replaces Fugo. And I think a cool detail of this also is that if I ch change into Requiem, I think if I activate Purple Haze Feedback, I change into Requiem. I do like how they went through the effort to change Kiss to Smooth Operators, but it just kind of looks cursed there being one massive Smooth Operators with its like a long mouth. And this matchup also has me a little worried about the future of the Jojo Lands as we've never seen it before where the main Jojo has a sibling in the part that they're companioning with. So it'd just be so upsetting if one of them dies eventually in the part or has to fight each other or just the conflict between them. Just seeing them fight right now is too much. All right, so let me try to pull off uh, Purple Haze feedback here and see if I can get a transformation. I can definitely see why the modder chose to replace Fugo because I honestly feel like Jodeo and Fugo have like a similar vibe where they're like quiet, psychopathic kind of where not psychopathic but they have like a deep aggression within them and they can snap like i think if i do a grab real quick fugo's grab is like a kicking motion yeah and that's an attack jody has done so far in the part i'm trying to think if it would ever be possible to actually add november rain into the game because it is such a different stand maybe eventually i feel like maybe weather report a mod that replaces weather report with jodeo and that could simulate november rain but it is so strange that Jodeo is the first Jojo really we've ever had that doesn't have a humanoid type stand. Of course, Johnny didn't have one for a long time until he got Act 4, but just November Rain is such a unique stand. I would really love if this game gets a second DLC pass, although I highly doubt they'll do Jojo Land's characters because of course Jojo Land's like for English people to officially read it would be, you know, technically piracy. So they probably are trying to avoid those characters that aren't available in English yet for God knows whatever reason. It's kind of like punishing the community for the companies being late on localizing stuff. Kind of perfect that Fugo's voice line is that's the law of the land when Dragona's assist with Saul Goodman all works out in the end. So now we've gone through part one all the way up to part nine, thanks to mods. And that might seem like the end, but as I mentioned in the beginning, way back when we were playing as Joseph, I know you guys have been waiting for it. The Jojo Babes matchup. <laughs> So as promised, here you guys are, Thick Lisa Lisa mod with Jiggle Physics, uh, Goth Mariah, doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Definitely some of the more uh, degen mods the community has made, and there's plenty more if you guys want to go check them out and install them for yourself. Uh, and some of the main JoJo's also have like goth mods, so you can probably get like a whole goth matchup going on. Call my assist. Yep, that's Yukako in her Gauth outfit. And it's so unfortunate that you can't have Jiggle Physics and Thick Physics at the same time. I'm definitely feeling a bit nostalgic making these style videos. Like, I'm pretty sure back in like 2016, I even have a video called like Jojo Babes because we would do these different matchups. We would do like father and son matchups, Joe Bros and Joe Fo matchups, and of course, all the Jojo Babes together. The good old Eyes of Heaven days. So let me try to, let me try to hit a heat attack to close this out. See Lisa Lisa show off a little bit. Yeah. 
And there you guys have it, the ultimate goth JoJo Babes matchup. And that's gonna do it for our 100 mod showcase in All-Star Battle R. Of course, unfortunately, I didn't get to show off all 100 mods we had installed as multiple mods belong to the same character, and some are so subtle I probably forgot about them or didn't even get to mention them within this video. So definitely leave a like if you enjoyed, as believe it or not, this video actually took just about as much time as my scripted content with all the downloading and file transfers. So please leave a like to show your support, and if you would like to see more content like this in the future, definitely let me know. It was a lot of fun doing something new here. Uh, if you want to see more mods, other JoJo games, just let me know in a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. 81% of viewers in the last 30 days have not subscribed yet, so if you're one of them, definitely get on that, and I'll talk to you guys real soon in a new video. Until then, I'm out. Peace!